Hello everyone, welcome to Johnny's NASDAQ YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to update Tomcat to latest, even we are using Tomcat 9, which is coming from the system repository. We had a couple of videos to show you how to install Guacamole based on this topology, which is using Tomcat 9 in our Ubuntu 24.4. We are using IP 192.168.2.132. We change the IP a bit. Uh, I'm going to show you that for Tomcat right now, it's working on the public subdomain, which you can find from this video. Uh, internally, you also can visit the default Tomcat 9 page. You also can get the Guacamole page. We do need to update the Tomcat to latest version uh, 9.0109. Right now I'm sitting on 9.0.70, which I'm going to show you that. Because of um, using the system repository to update Tomcat 9, won't be able to get you the latest version. So that's why I'm making this video to show you the manual process to update it, which is also very simple, easy to do. Now, let's jump into it. Before we can start it, uh, assuming you already have SSH connection, I did uh, connect into it, switch to root, and now we're gonna show you the configuration of networking. I'm using static IP, not DHCP anymore, and using name server, public name server, and also default gateway. If you want to change those settings, you will need to go to etc folder, not plan folder and there's a 50 cloud initiate.yam file. So then modify it and then then net plan apply then the change will be applied to your system. You also want to check the Tomcat version. If you don't know where it installed, you can always search it out. Just trying to find our version .sh file. Once found it, just run, just run this bash file. So you should be able to see this version. The latest version, you can search online and find it out. You can find it online. Just search Tomcat 9 latest version. Then you should be finding this 9.0.109 version. That's the one we're going to download it. But before we do that, we have a couple of clean house work to do, backup, uninstall, then install. Now let's do some backups. As usual, I put all steps and the commands into my blog post, which you can find the post link in this video description. So we're going to follow the steps shows in this blog post. We do backup, remove old version, download, install Tomcat manually, then restore the backup and verify the services. I already have a session with it, so we confirmed our version 9.0.70.0. Now we're gonna upgrade it to 109, that version. Let's do backup for now, stop the service. And we're gonna create a backup folder. We call it uh, Tomcat 9 backup. Now we're going to copy everything into that folder. We also need to copy the web application. You might want to archive Tomcat 9 this folder into a tar file if you want to do that. That should be fine, and we're gonna do verify our backup files. So we got those two folders, and then we got a tar file for the Tomcat folder. So that should be enough for everything we need to backup. Remember, those backup will be very important for you to restore the Guacamole services, which is web app application. Next step is to remove the old version. We're gonna just remove and purge 
Tomcat related services and documentation. Uh, that's pretty simple, easy to do. Also, you may want to do auto clean. So let's remove the all install Tomcat related services and documentation. Just in case there's any other files still left on the disk, so you can just clean it up using this command. That should remove all files from previous installed Tomcat 9. Our next step is going to manually download the latest Tomcat file and then install it manually. You may need to install OpenJTK file at uh, version 11. Perfect. If you haven't created the Tomcat is user, strongly suggest you creating that. Since I already have Tomcat user created, that step we can save it. So you can see I already have a user Tomcat created before. So now we can go to the next step, go to the temp folder, download 9.0.109 this tar file. We're gonna create a Tomcat folder and uh, extract the downloaded tar file into this folder. We're gonna give necessary permissions to the Tomcat list user. So we download the latest Tomcat file and then we extract it and gave the necessary permission to Tomcat user. So you can see Tomcat list user and the group has required permission for the all files under this folder. Now we're gonna create the service. So we're gonna create a tomcat.service this file. And you should be able to copy paste this whole file in. That's whatever you need it. You don't have to change anything. Just save it and quit. Now we reload daemon and then we can start the service. Of course, don't forget to enable it to make sure you can start the services when you reboot the machine. Now let's check system status for these services. As you can see, it's running. We also can take a look at the version. 9.0.109. Perfect. That finished all steps what we needed. Ne next step is to verify. As you can see, the Guacamole folder is not available to access yet because the application wasn't installed, but the default Tomcat page is available. 9.0.109 is here. Uh, once we restored the folder, then we should be able to get our Guacamole website up and running as well. So we're gonna copy paste the command in based on your backup folder's name. So I'm using Tomcat 9 BAK folder as my backup. So what I need to do is just copy them in. You also want to make sure copy the backup web app folder in as well. So both folders has been copied over and uh, the next step is to make sure gave necessary permission to the those folder new copied files. If you don't run those commands, then you will get an error as well. Also make sure you restart the Tomcat service and check the service status. 
make sure it's running. Now let's go back guacamole folder. Perfect. Let's log in. Perfect. Everything seems working well. So at this stage, we have done all the steps. We successfully upgrade our Tomcat from 9.0.70 to 9.0.109. Although there are quite a few steps to follow, the whole process is very straightforward as instructed from my blog post. As long as you follow those steps, you should be able to get your Tomcat service updated to the required version. That's all for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. See you in my next video.